Okay, we are live. Wow. Let me do my job. Yeah. Ooh. We are live. Let's and fucking I am go. Sleepy. Can I tell you a tragedy that happened to me yesterday? Yeah. So I dropped my wallet. That's not the tragedy. Okay. And like a cartoon, everything bounced out of it. And I had this Horrible. like big spread of cards on the ground, uh -huh. which is great because it reminded me that I had taco money, mm. aka a Taco Bell gift card. Ooh. And I was so excited because I actually had the card yesterday and I was like, ooh, I'm going to stop on my way home. I'm going to get a cheeky little snack. For me, a little afternoon tea of a Baja Blast and two spicy potato soft tacos. And then I'm going to ride this high for the rest of the evening. I can't and believe I, you drink Baja Blast. It's so good. It's so chemically disgusting. engineered to taste great with Taco Bell. So I stopped at the Taco Bell, which is conveniently between work and my house. Uh -huh. And they, I like pull up, there's no line. I like scope it out. And I'm like, oh my God, fucking everything is coming up. Caitlin today, I got taco mm -hmm. mini, I got like motive, I got opportunity, let's go. And um, their system was down and they weren't taking any orders. <laughs> and so I, you know, she was like, I'm really sorry. It's gonna, you know, you'll have to wait for our system to reboot. And I was like, okay, is that like a five minute thing or is that like a longer thing? And she was like, oh, it's gonna be like 30, 35 minutes. And I really thought about it. Uh, I yeah. really thought about it, but I did not, in fact, get to spend my taco dollars in exchange for tacos. Yeah. You crunching and munching? Yeah. Can you name that crunch? Sounds like a nut to me. Hmm. Do you want to hear it again? I suppose. <laughs> I, I think, I don't think I need to hear it again, but I think you think I need to hear it <laughs> again, you know? Okay, here we go. I think that sounds like a nut. Hmm. You're wrong. I've been getting television ads on the, the television for fucking crunch masters. Mm. Mm hmm. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a crunch master. You know. But it's not. Well, Thank goodness I didn't say I thought it was a crunch master then. <laughs> that would have been embarrassing. Yep. Um, by the way, Emily is here and Juliet is here and Lily is here and Emma is here. And, and Francis. Francis is here. I know I'm just going down in order of people first in the chat. Damn. Um, Juliet says, hmm, it sounded open like a pretzel, but crisper, not a pretzel. It sounded like it had some body to it, you know? Yeah. Um, was it a nut on top of a crunch master? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. It seems like a composite. It seems like it's been meaningfully alchemized. Well, that's interesting. Because, okay, when you say interesting, do you mean wrong? Or do you mean, <laughs> or do you mean interesting? Then this could be a challenging interpretation of what we are accepted meaning of meaningfully alchemized. No, usually when we talk about meaningfully alchemized, we mean that there are multiple ingredients present hold on nat is actually here because <laughs> she finally remembered to turn on notifications great job nat i just want to i just want to say good job yeah francis says i'm always slightly late to drew's day even though it's in my own home yeah to be fair <laughs> you get 
to your own home like two minutes before Drew's day, so I think True. you're allowed and a little And then I ask in the you theater. to do things for me while I sit on the couch. And then Joey asked you to do stuff for him. That's <laughs> fucked up. Honestly, the streamer's privilege has gotten to you. It's changed you, Joe. Uh-huh. <sighs> Emily um, says, congrats on the notice, Nat. Okay, so traditionally we have said meaningfully alchemized means... There are multiple ingredients. Yes, and they that... have been combined in some way that alters their structure. Like a trail yeah. mix is not correct. Meaningfully alchemized. Correct. This is not multiple ingredients. Mm, okay. But it has been alchemized. <laughs> like the structure. Okay, it's. Hold on. Oh, God. It's been so long since we tread these extremely perilous waters. I know. So, I think you are thinking in a narrower category. Its structure than has you been. need to be. Its structure has been meaningfully changed from its original state, is what you're saying, even though it does not include many ingredients. Yes. As in. It has been dehydrated. No, it's too crunchy for it to be dehydrated. Right now, is it just a thinking? Wait, go ahead. I was is is it just a potato chip? It doesn't sound like a potato chip. No, no, it is not a potato chip. Right now, you are thinking about like what snack does this sound like, and you maybe should be asking. Oh shit! Are we out of the realm of edible? Can edibility? It is edible. Oh, okay. But it's is not it a... really in the crunchy snack category. Okay, g- give it to me again. Uh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, oh no? <laughs> Joey, we're in the middle of research. What the okay, fuck? Okay, I can get more, but I'm going to have to get up. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Do you understand how many things, like, I imprison I myself. I the door to this. You opened the door. You're out here dragging up our old established definitions of meaningfully alchemized. So, yes, I think you should get up because you're the one who opened the trap door out from under us. <laughs> Juliet says, is it a dog biscuit? No. Tim says, acorn. I, I have eaten acorns not in the way you're supposed to eat acorns like milling it into acorn flour but by just fucking slicing and sauteing uh-huh. some okay, acorns here, on a campfire listen, listen listen oh are you eating dry gluten free pasta no hmm okay I guess that is a meaningful alchemization but it's got a, it feels like a similar sound profile. Mm, interesting. Emily says crunchy cookie. Okay, here's another one, but it's bigger, so I don't know if I can handle this. <laughs> oh, are these your um are these your tea sugar rocks? No. Is it granola? No. God damn it. Okay. We need to, I think, is it a single ingredient or just low ingredient? Single? Tim says, wait, is that cracking, crunching noise your teeth? <laughs> no. Um, it's not like a fucked up chocolate, is it? No. Okay, last Joey's one. Joey's out here. Mon- I don't know. I don't know. Oh, Emily says carrot. Mm -mm. It sounds more... It's weird because it sounds brittle, but also meaty. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Breedy. It says, tell me when Joey stops crunching. Okay, I have stopped. I'm sorry. Yeah, that, so Juliet says there's so much crunch to this, but there's definitely heard the tinkle of something glassy. Yeah, that's that brittleness. Is it... Oh, is it actually brittle? 
that's more that's a fucking alchemization caitlin come on okay hold on hold on we need to we need to take a step back we're not starting at finished product we're starting with the single ingredient which has been meaningfully alchemized Uh uh-huh is it a vegetable no is it a fruit no is it a meat no (laughs) oh is it a cheese is it a puffed cheese no or like a dehydrated cheese no well that's it those are the categories of food i didn't say it was food joey buddy what are you what do you have in your mouth what <laughs> drop it you didn't say it was food Is i it said ice? it was yes i said it was edible oh. but not food also uh, um i'm pretty sure juliet already guessed ice in the chat but i didn't want to give in yet oh i did I not see that you. i did not see that yeah well fucking you did it good job that was Thank not you. what i would have guessed i think usually chewing ice has a kind of squeakier mm. maybe well, if you do I, it slowly i think we are all relieved <laughs> there's a dangerous when you say it is isn't edible that's you're being very tricky because there's an extremely dangerous precedent on this fucking thing we've dedicated uh, several hours of our life to every week for the last couple of years uh-huh. like eating pine cone not eating but crunching pine cones and other non-edible things right emily says and i assume her best golem voice trixie joey mm-hmm. what has it got in its mouth pockets <laughs> Mm. Huh. Anyways. Wow. All right, name that crunch. Ready? What the hell was that? It was me. Um, this was actually a very stupid thing to have done. I have a somewhat full Lacroix, and I was like, "How can I crunch this with my hands?" And so I just fucking squished it in my hands. <laughs> and did um, you? Did you overflow LaCroix on yourself? I did not. Which is good because I was doing it right above my computer. Ooh. Nor did I um, split the can such that it is leaking. But now I do have to drink my Guava Sao Paulo LaCroix out of this shameful vessel. Mm. When did you start pronouncing it like that instead of LaCroix? Uh, like literally years ago as a joke and I can't stop. Interesting, because I only noticed you doing it like the last couple weeks and I feel like we've talked no. about LaCroix a lot. We have talked about LaCroix mm-hmm. <laughs> a lot. I've been doing it for a long time. Okay. Because I've been drinking LaCroix, La- the mm-hmm. beverage. Mm-hmm for a while it's a horrible vice yeah and that says another close call on name that crunch wow um oh ruby is here also hi ruby hi ruby i have um (laughs) thank you emma has just appeared with a glass (laughs) wow thanks um (laughs) i mean when you asked me to crunch more ice francis appeared and brought me more ice the fucking stream gremlins the fucking techies um i it was so difficult to crunch ice without giving you like ice in a glass sound Mm, maybe that's why it avoided some of the squeak because you were being very like yeah Economical. When I was four years old, I loved to chew on ice, and my dad also did at the time. It was a thing we yeah. shared. I'm also an ice chewer, uh, which is really fucking bad for your teeth. Well, 
My teeth are fucked already, so... <laughs> Nat points out, pretty sure all the dangerous precedents were set by Caitlin themselves. Yeah, that is true. Okay. Juliet says, so, who's ready to use some sharp, sharp shears? So I think that is our indication that we should stop talking and play the fucking game. Let's go! Okay. Stream two. Caitlin... Off, color source off, game to try to solve. open. If you think you're ready to dive into that mystery, just click on the plane ticket and you'll be on your way. <laughs> Ruby says Juliet has had enough. Yep, I don't blame you. Okay, chat open on my phone. Cut things. Cut things. I don't know what. We'll find something, I'm sure. Something to cut. Something to cut. I bet they would work great on raid cards, you know? <gasps> oh, please get this? it. Please get it. Wow. Yeah. That's our fucking, that's our little friend. We just have- no, I don't want that. That's just our guy. He's just in our pocket now. Yeah. Isn't that nice? Wow. <laughs> Nat says, every week I totally forget where we were last week. Emma says, I think we're in danger. Nat says, let me cast my mind back. I remember dying in a furnace. We did die in a furnace, but we're not dead any longer. Hmm, find a light to see down the well. Explore the well. Do you remember the thing we pulled up in the well? The, like, um, shell or something? Yeah. Decode the paper. Explore the FOIA. We still haven't, haven't done, done that. that. I don't think we'll be oh, able to yeah, until we do the... have not looked at everything in Renata's bag, which is concerning. No. <laughs> Bro, we cannot go through that again. Do you think, I mean, it would be so much easier now that we know how to rotate the thing, but here's the thing. I want to buy some cake. For Renata because, or for you? For Renata. Because when we had access to her bag, we clicked on the gadget because it looked interesting, but there was also like a book sticking up. Mm, okay. And so I want to go back and see if we can click on that. God, I do love this little automat so much. It's so good. That reminds me, Emma and I got um, takeout tonight, and we have like a, you know, how restaurants love to call chocolate desserts like chocolate decadence or death by chocolate or... Mm -hmm you know, stupid things like that. We got some like extremely decadent looking like chocolate brownie fudge walnut with ice cream thing that we're saving for after the stream. Yeah. And I just remembered and I'm so excited. Wow. Don't call me. What the fuck? Too many people call. Ned, I'm so glad Oh my God, do you see this art? Ned, you know the truth is I'd love to have you here with me instead of all the way at home. I feel the same way and I know that. Forget it sometimes. Oh, Ned, you don't need to change. I like you just the way he you didn't are. say. I get what you said from thought, and I think I'm spending too much time waiting for exciting things to happen to me like they do for you. After we got in the fight, I did a lot of thinking. Me too. Ned, it's been like an hour. Saying, I may not be an internationally known sleuth, but I'm happy to have one in my life. And maybe it's time for me to be a little more daring. What I'm that happy mean? to hear that. I'd have you along on my adventures anytime. That means a lot. Thanks, Nancy. <laughs> that means it's a lot. True. <laughs> well, maybe one day we'll work together on a case. You might be right. Wait, really? I'd better start working on my slow thing. Sorry, buddy. Oh my god. Bad. I'll call you back from the landline. <laughs> 
Okay, that's actually the most charming I've ever found. Ned is like, oh, really? Like, I better, I better get ready. Uh huh. Juliet said, "Is Ned about to come out?" Uh. Huh. What do you want? You gotta have chocolate cake. No, you don't. You tell her. Do you want? Would you like some yeah. food? You shouldn't have. Oh, this is too much. <laughs> I love the immediate, like, no transition from mouth sounds to snoring. The owl and the other Ooh. grim's tits. Ooh. Oh, that's Wait, the torn out. To this. Didn't we find yeah. that's? We found that downstairs. The owl. Should we actually read this? I don't know. It seems depressing and also we don't have time. I'm just worried she'll wake up, but let's see. Two or three hundred years ago, when people were far from being so crafty and cunning as they are nowadays, an extraordinary event took place in a little town. By some mischance, one of the great owls, called Horned Owls, had come from the neighboring woods into the barn of one of the townsfolk in the night time, and when day broke, did not dare to venture forth again from her retreat, for fear of the other birds, which raised a terrible outcry whenever she appeared. In the morning, when the manservant went into the barn to fetch some straw, he was so mightily alarmed at the sight of the owl sitting there in a corner that he ran away and announced to his master that a monster, the like of which he had never set eyes on in his life, and which could devour a man without the slightest difficulty, was sitting in the barn, rolling its eyes about in its head. "'I know you already,' said the master." You have courage enough to chase a blackbird about the fields, but when you see a dead hen lying, you have to get a stick before you go near it. I must go and see for myself what kind of a monster it is, added the master, and went quite boldly into the granary and looked round him. Ah, yeah. uh, so they're, 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 when they say master and manservant, they mean, like, in the Frodo and Sam way. Yes. <laughs> when, <laughs> however, he saw the strange, grim creature with his own eyes, he was no less terrified than the servant had been. With two bounds, he sprang out, ran to his neighbors, and begged them imploringly to lend him assistance against an unknown and dangerous beast, or else the whole town might be in danger if it were to break loose out of the barn where it was shut up. A great noise and clamor arose in all the streets. The townsmen came armed with spears, hayforks, scythes, and axes, as if they were going out against an enemy. Finally, the senators appeared with the burgermeister at their head. When they had drawn up in the marketplace, they marched to the barn and surrounded it on all sides. Thereupon, one of the most courageous of them stepped forth and entered with his spear lowered, but came running out immediately afterwards with a shriek and as pale as death, and could not utter a single word. Yet two others ventured in, but they fared no better. At last one stepped forth a great strong man who was famous for his warlike deeds, and said, You will not drive away the monster by merely looking at him. We must be in earnest here. Sexism, it's well. sexism alert, but I see that you have all turned into women and not one of you dares to encounter the animal. Yikes, my, my man. He ordered them to give him some armor, had a sword and spear brought, and armed himself. All praised his courage, though many feared for his life. The two barn doors were opened, and they saw the owl, which in the meantime had perched herself on the middle of a great crossbeam. He had a ladder brought, and when he raised it and made ready to climb up, they all cried out to him that he was to bear himself bravely, and commended him to St. George, who slew the dragon. When he had just got to the top, the owl perceived that he had designs on her, and was also bewildered by the crowd and the shouting, and knew not how to escape. So she rolled her eyes, ruffled her feathers, flapped her wings, snapped her beak, and cried, To wit, to woo, in a harsh voice. Strike home, strike home, screamed the crowd outside to the valiant hero. 
Anyone who is standing where I am standing, answered he, would not cry, strike home. He certainly did plant his foot one rung higher on the ladder, but then he began to tremble and, half fainting, went back again. And now there is no one left who dared to put himself in such danger. The monster, said they, has poisoned and mortally wounded the very strongest man among us by snapping at him and just breathing on him. Are we, too, to risk our lives? They took counsel as to what they ought to do to prevent the whole town being destroyed. For a long time, everything seemed to be of no use. But at length, the, the burgomaster <laughs> Oops. found an expedient. My opinion, said he, is that we ought, out of the common purse, to pay for this barn, and whatsoever corn, straw, or hay it contains, and thus indemnify the owner, and then burn down the whole building and the terrible beast with it. Thus no one will have to endanger his life. This is no time for thinking of expense, and miserliness would be ill applied. All agreed with him, so they set fire to the barn at all four corners, and with it the oh, owl, no. poor owl, was miserably burnt. Let anyone who will not believe it go thither and inquire for himself. Man, that was a bummer. That was a bummer. So is this an indication that the monster is just an owl? Or that someone's doing a fucking Scooby-Doo for a real estate deal, dude. Hmm. Ruby says maybe he was being literal. Monster of trans your gender. Juliet says whatever the opposite of trans right <laughs> is. And Ruby says cis wrongs. <laughs> Emily says love to go down to the Burgo master to get a delicious Burgo. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I want to figure out that piece of paper. We can look at it again. I just don't think we have... <sighs> I don't know. Yeah. Because it's not just translating it. And it's not yeah. also... It's not like an anagram or anything. It seen it's definitely like a code or a cipher that we don't have yet yeah oh emma says this is an actual grimm's fairy tale we're very close to one well it, it is what it says on the tin fucking grim yep <clears throat> okay um where do we go next? We need a light we for the well to lure Carl out of his office by starting a fire. Is that what we need to do? We talked about it last time. Yeah, or we could cut something. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh hell yeah. I oh my god. Create the pattern with the pieces I have here. This, okay. This pattern? Yeah, it's about how the cup... There's just squares. Those are yeah. overlaps. Yeah, okay, 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 okay. So we have, yeah, we have some freebies. This well, is a cool... I don't think we've gotten any, like, color mixing... ...ones before. And <laughs> look at you rotating things. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think this is actually... This is farther over. Oops. Do you want to put that orange one in the corner? Um... Do I... Oh, I need actually... I can't tell if the orange one, no, because the orange one has to go after this blue one, and this blue one is on top of this central one, and also mm, on top of this light green one. Okay. That says good glass sounds. Yeah. <laughs> Name that crunch. 
Looks good. It doesn't always take my click. It's weird. Ha ha! Nice. I better take this with me. Ooh. Oh, that's how we're gonna. That looks like a cipher to me. Ooh. Mm hmm. Okay. Glad. Well, that was a, a tasty little puzzle morsel. <laughs> oh, do you see? There's a, a yes. letter carved onto that table, too. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll look after this. Construction began on the castle in 1436, but it was Freiherr Amsel, the third owner, who was responsible for the castle's completion. He had purchased the incomplete property with the intent of making it into an ancestral seat that would be passed down through the family. Sadly, of his four children, only his daughter Elsa survived past childhood before suffering an early tragic death herself. At the hour of her death, the hands of her beloved Cuckoo Clock mysteriously stopped. Devastated by her loss, the Baron became a recluse in his own castle from that moment on. Upon his death years later, the castle was sold to another lord and has changed hands a few times since, but continues as a privately owned residence and entirely self-sustaining community today. The clock, which became a special symbol for the castle, remained on display until 1894, when it was damaged beyond repair. Though her time in the castle was brief, Elsa left behind a lasting legacy. It was her feminine touch that transformed the cold stone interior into something grander. Proud of her region's heritage and traditions, she wished to showcase the talents of local craftsmen and artisans by furnishing the castle with their work. Many of the original pieces purchased by Elsa are still on display, along with more recent acquisitions, such as an inf intricate glockenspiel, Decadent velveteen hangings and stained glass windows, the largest nearly 20 feet tall. Even today, Castle Finster continues the tradition of supporting and displaying local crafts. After the original glass blowing facility and its subpar safety measures accidentally burned <laughs> down in 1923, a new updated glass hot shop was built to maintain the tradition. The new studio even allows residents and visitors to watch as glass artisans work on commissioned pieces. From Elsa to present day, the castle community remains proud of their unique heritage and culture and gladly put it on display for all the world to enjoy. Ruby says, well, how did the clock get damaged so bad? And Emma says, probably the monster, if I had to guess. Yeah. Okay, we can't actually get closer to oh but that's gotta be that. i wonder but remember we have like a b um we have that picture of like where all the monster stuff has happened oh let me see uh we weren't able to oh yeah 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 we were yes um because hmm. so this is the burgermeister's office yes so we're in that those I where so. these little alcoves are like they're just like right along yeah right there here so mm, okay potentially no but unclear unless the claw marks means the monster clawed a bee into the table <laughs> maybe B for monster uh huh we still have to figure out how to get to the spider zone. Yeah. Oh, hello, Fraulein. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's gonna base a character on a. I'd like to help you with your character again. Remember, he asked if the, the monster should be male or female. Yeah, we said female, so now should it have brown fur or black fur? I think brown. Brown. Thanks. 
<laughs> Great. See you later. See you later, Nancy. <laughs> Nat says, still haven't gotten to the spider's location. And Francis says, sigh, someday. <laughs> wow. I feel like if you make us look at the panels that closely, we should get to one of them right? should be like... I do like these little marble insets, though. Yeah. Um. Okay, now what? What's on our list? We need light to see down the well. Lure Carl out of his office. Oh, you can translate that now. Portrait damaged by fire in 2006. Oh, that's Freiherr's daughter. Oh. Okay. Notice Elsa. that there's a G there, okay. and also her necklace. That's the fucking necklace. Looks kind of like the shape we need for that thing downstairs. Yes, that's also the necklace on the cover of the game. Oh right. Fuck. Um. There's hey, also what? like a mysterious little note here. Hey, is this? weird little plug that we have not the correct shape for that because it's got the three times no it's it's different control key okay i mean i can try but i'm pretty sure i did okay i believe you uh sorry this is here maybe hmm. i should probably try just to make sure hold on i just want to look out over the everything wow uh, juliet says is the cat meowing in the game or irl this IRL. is my yeah this is my old lady cat biz who actually has not beat a stream campaign. whoa sorry oh that fucking kid <sighs> tried to get us i better find something else to wear i really wish i had my suitcase do we not have our suitcase no i think that was part of the thing with arriving as our luggage is separated Oh, great opportunity to wear the shirt. Yeah, but I don't seem to be able to. Hmm. Come on, Biz. Francis says, put on a dirndl so we can bond with the gift shop woman. <gasps> oh my god, we're... <laughs> Holy shit. Do you think it's from her? I think it's probably from the shitty guy who wants everyone to dress historic, but I love thinking that it's from Anya. <sighs> yeah. Wow, Nancy's wearing a dirndl now. I wish we could see Nancy in the Durndle. Me too. <laughs> Francis says she folded her wet clothing. Nancy is a menace. Yeah. And Ruby says Nurndle is in a <laughs> Durndle that Nancy wears. Juliet says, ooh, do people have different responses to her now? Will the monster come for her now? Mm. The, we know the monster comes for the girl, or comes when the girl wears the necklace. Now, Nancy canonically When the girl who has, wears the necklace walks the walks halls. Walks the halls. We know canonically that Nancy has a necklace yeah. from Ned, that one that um, got stolen as part of Phantom and Venice. But I think this is the very specific necklace. Yeah. Nat says, this has so much to say today. Yeah, she just hasn't been coming up to say hi to streams recently. She was kind of taking a break from her adoring audience. It's pretty exhausting to be consumed by the masses, you know? I want to know what we are missing in this room. We know what notes are what now, but we don't know what to play what to play maybe you're supposed to be meticulously recreating the soundtrack <laughs> on that glock that one octave glockenspiel uh-huh 
Oh, the one off Glock for one off yeah. Glock and Spiel. Uh -huh. Oh, the music just changed. This is fucking like caper hijinks music. This yeah. is for sneaking and scheming. What are we missing? Maybe it's something that we can only see when he's not down, when he's not here. Maybe. Oh. Fucking so secret meeting. Can you go distract Kai? I've got a really great prank idea, but I need him distracted. Can you do it? Sure. You are my favorite new person in the world, Nancy. Come back and let me know when he's distracted. So now we really need to get him out of the office. <sighs> Bye. See you later. Money. Okay. How do we distract Carl? I'm telling you, we should maybe pick a fight with a guest? I don't know if we can do that. You know what cast light and it's therefore would help us see down the well what a big fire oh that's that was that's from, from yeah um waverly academy yes so then what was that item that we were seeing uh, before it was that like from some other game right but i want to know what, what it was. was from what game yeah, yeah. maybe it, oh you know maybe it's a, like a shell from like kapu cove or something creature the of creature kapu of kapu cave cave. Cap cave not cove juliet says use her shears to cut something important yeah yes. we thought it because there's that really prominently placed electrical box but we couldn't cut it what do we do do we make scratch marks on doors with the shears? Oh my god. Whoops. No. Um, oh. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can't look at that, though. Oh. Can we? I want to look at that page. Okay, so this mm -hmm. is the one that we found downstairs, and it says OM on it. Okay. And this is the N. one that was in Renata's bag and says N. Okay. I don't know that we have it yet. Um, can you, we can't look at the cipher, but can you click on other things in the inventory with it? Like, can you put it on that? No. Hold on, let me open the, oh no. Oh. No. Uh, no, it does not like that. That let's, feels like what should solve that puzzle. Let's go back to the basement. Oh, to use that control key on the... Yeah, I just to double check, I don't really think that that's the thing. It doesn't look right. It looks more electrical than, like, sort of ancient. Yeah, but... it just, it has three prongs. Yeah. Hello. Oh! Did you leave this costume out for me? 
No. Someone must have left it out for you for the festival. It looks great on you. Huh. What? Oh, that dress. It just looks really familiar. I wonder where I've seen it before. Oh. I'll let you go. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, see, they have... There are necklaces back here that look like that one. Oh, interesting. But like black in the middle. Uh, whiplash from Anya thinks we look great in the dress too. Someone has worn the dress before. Uh huh. There's an A here. Also. Yeah. Don't forget that you need They're to use just... the yeah. tool to do that. Do I? I think you did that last time, Probably. didn't you? Probably. There are just a lot of random letters around. Yeah, there are. Ruby says monster left dress out for you. Maybe it's a phantom of the opera situation? <laughs> Juliet says the monster... Oh, no, you're right. That does yeah, not... See, these, I, like... I was forgetting that they were like wedges and not like prongs. Yeah. Hmm. Like, I don't know what's going to go here, but I don't think we've seen anything that's actually... No, that yeah, you're shape. right. It's going to be the necklace. Um, I was well, just I don't even know that it's going to be the necklace because that's not entirely yeah. the right shape either. It kind of seems like it's going to be like three individual wedges. Maybe we'll make them out mm. of glass. I don't know. Oh my god, there's slices of cake. It's the German chocolate cake. <laughs> the, the Black Forest cake. Great. Ruby says monster took the dress off the body of Elsa. Wait, no, Elsa was the monster and faked her death. Great. God, this soundtrack really does extremely go. <sighs> Emily, are we missing something obvious? Oh, here's the stone in jail. Can we look at our list again? Yeah. Hmm. That's done. Okay, that's great. Still have to do that. Okay, that's it. No, I haven't gone all the way up yet. Decode Lawyer, the paper. Paper. Let's find out where the strange bird came from. Can't check that off yet. Explore the well. Find a light to see down the well. Find a way into the passages. Can't check that off find yet. Find something <clears throat> to activate the relief in the dungeon. Ask Can't check that about off the costume. Yet. I guess we should ask everyone. Ask about other people. The I wonder too, because there's that other path that's denoted on the list. I wonder if we can go back out the front doors and walk like the wooded path. No, we tried you know? to go out and. We tried to go out the gate last time. I oh, think. did we? Okay. And it was some. I don't like, remember that. We can't go out at night. Mm. Yeah, because we don't know where this trail is. I'm guessing these are underground, like. Mm. This but that's clearly is... a tree. Yeah, but it might be up above. I don't know. It may. Okay, just Emily be says the yes. Uh, you're not. Not missing anything on the right track with exploring and talking to people. We have not, like, done all of the dialogue options with everyone, so maybe we should focus know, on that. it's annoying. But the dialogue has been good in this game so far. That's true. Who do you want to talk to first? Virgo? We have at least one more option with Anya, so I'm going to finish Hello. that while we're here. Did you and Marcus date? Yes, but that was a long time ago. Were you too serious? We were. Or at least we thought we were. <laughs> you know how it is. But that's all in the past now. We chat every now and again for work, but that's about it. Let's 
So Marcus is okay with you working here? He wasn't at first, but he asked around and found out I do a good job. We both decided to be mature about it. I'll let you go. Bye. See you later. I really hope that if Anya ends up being some sort of villain in the story, it's from a, like, I dated a guy who was, like, a little scuzzy, and so I decided to, like, scan his rich ass and not, like, yeah. a, like, mm -hmm. jilted ex thing. Yeah. Um, but we'll see. Virgo time. What do you think of Marcus? He does not know what he's doing. He thinks we should all listen to him because he has a briefcase. Any <laughs> fool can get one of those things and any day they are silly. What is this, 1986? Not anymore, it isn't. Wow, you tell him. Uh, I love the directness of this. <laughs> We're gonna ask about Renata first, What though. do you think of Renata? Did you know that Anya wants her to go? I don't understand why. She's such a great storyteller. This isn't the first time she's come here, you know. Although it was before my time, she knows a lot about this place. Anya told me she likes Renata. I'm pretty mm. sure that's not the case. Maybe she's trying to impress you by pretending to be far friendlier than she actually is. Why would Renata be trying to impress me, Virgo? Can you help me distract Lucas for a minute by or staying at Anya. your desk? He wants to set up a prank for you. I will sit here and be your unsuspecting prank victim. And finally, I will be able to catch him in the act. Uh-oh. Great. I'd like to give you more help with your character. Now the character needs a special item. Should it be a magic golden ring or a never-ending pocket full of gold coins? Wear the ring. Oh. No. Uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah? Yeah. I want my character to wear the ring. Thanks. I'll let you go. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Nancy. We're not playing more raid if we can help it. No. Um, okay, now we will go back and talk to Lucas. Yes. Emily says incredible. I love this guy. It does seem extremely Nancy that she would just like sidestep. I went the wrong way. We gotta go. Wow, embarrassing for you in this very straightforward. I've been doing a great job, TBH. You have! I hope you're all incredibly impressed with me. Ah, what are you wearing? You look like you're in a cartoon. Shut up, I motherfucker! You're wearing later too. hosen too! It is? I thought it was pretty cool. Oh, oh buddy! No, it, it's cool. <laughs> sure, whatever. Oh my god, we fucking roasted that kid. <laughs> um, should we ask him the other things before we tell him that Carl is distracted? Yeah. I hear you have a reputation as a prankster. If you want to call it that, I guess that you could. But really, they're not just pranks. They're something better. Like what exactly? I don't know, but pranks are stupid. I've got better things planned than just stupid pranks. What do you have planned? You'll see. Something good. The people oh. around here will be talking about it for There's years. There's paper down here. Oh, yeah. Do you like living here at the castle? Yeah. It seems like a weird place to grow up. I don't know. It's not boring like some places. Did you know that hundreds of years ago, they used to have a gallows here? And you could see it right from my window. When I visit my uncle's place, he just has a grocery store outside of his window. Do your school friends like to visit the castle? No. Really? It seems like a place where all the kids would want to hang out. Yeah, well, they just don't, okay? I don't exactly have a lot of friends. 
We roasted this kid who has no friends. There's nothing wrong with that. Good friends are hard to find. Yeah, I've heard that one before. Well, it's true. Maybe for other people. Oh. Conversation <laughs> over. With a little, like, um, oh, instrumental zinger, too. Not now. Okay, sure. Okay. <sighs> what can you tell me about Anya? She's the best. She's the most fun person in this castle by a mile. Why is that? She's taught me that all the fun places are in the castle. And she knows a lot of games, and she's good to talk to if you have a problem. I wish she wasn't always so busy. What's she busy doing? I don't know. Probably something with Carl. Why do you say that? They're always fighting. Do you visit Anya in the shop much? Oh, yeah. Want to hear a secret? If you give her not a food, she falls asleep in like a second. It's really weird. What do you think of Marcus? Who? He's the man who owns the castle. Oh, okay. I don't know him. I think I heard my dad talk about him a few times. I don't think he liked him all that much. Um, why would you leave a bucket of water over my door? I'm only allowed to watch two hours of television a week. <laughs> I've got a lot of time on my hands. Fair. I don't really want to accuse him. No. Okay. Okay, Carl is distracted. All right, I'm off. Wish me luck. Good luck. The middle of this message is in some sort of code. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Unscramble the message by swapping letters within each of the vertical columns below. Um, also, those things at the bottom are orders of letters. Yes. Because that's, I think, G. What's the florist initial? I don't know. The hallway book stand, book stand is a is B, B for Bonster. Yeah. Castle Gates Bell. I'm not sure. Glass Furnace was A. A. We could go. Um, do you want to decode this now or do you want to run around and find those letters? I bet if I try moving the letters around in the columns, I can figure out what it says. I want to try to decode this. Okay. Go. Great. Open. Yeah. The. The. Fur furnace. Nope. B. No, this is I O or S. Go is open. It doesn't look like go is correct, actually, because it didn't. Oh. To open the something something. Emily says, oh, hell yeah, inking them in like getting a fake correct in Oprah Den. Bean. Mm. Heat could be. No, that's what I was thinking too, but. Bent? Yeah, but. That's... That doesn't make sense in that part of the sentence. No. Is it going to hmm. tell us if a word is right if we haven't done the previous words? I hope I don't know. Yeah, no, because we didn't have two correct and we got open in the... 
Oh, so, that's yes, true. it yes. will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we could try and do some of these shorter ones farther. Like we could get yeah, there's like two and three letter ones, which might be easier to fill in. And it will. Okay. Yeah. That's the... Knock some letters out. There's um. Ebo in the second row. Yeah. Yeah, that has to be either E or A. Could be R, A R E. That's true. Yep. Uh, can we do Mio beneath it while we're looking at those same letters? Yes. Two. No. Boo! It is a spooky monster. Nope. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, we might... Uh. Ash is here. Hi, Ash. Juliet says teeth. I'm trying to find another five letter word that works after earnerate. <laughs> um, but R knocked out teeth, unfortunately. Oh, and the, yeah. Rip yeah, teeth. So that, this word has to start with B, L, or M. Hell yeah, Nancy Drew. Mm hmm. Okay, there's a few more three letters. We can... Yeah, I'm, I'm working on it. Um, there's SH before... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Of? Uh. That's probably... R again? Yeah. This is fun. This is a cool... We, we haven't seen this particular mechanic yeah. before, but I like it. And then we have NN and TLE. Nice. Yeah. And then... The again. Yes. In the blank of the blank. Oh, and LOE here. The. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the is really coming through for us. Yeah. Oh, and okay. this, eight. Hmm. Oh, that's the one we were trying to... Yeah. Figure out. Yeah. Um... One? She? Yeah. Or oh. she. No. no. Hmm. And... Um, do we have- oh, yeah. Yeah. There we go! Um, maybe we can get this R-L-U-N at the end of the center line because we yeah, don't have well, that Yeah, well, I was letters. gonna say, like, we only- both of these words, we have very few right. options. <sighs> um... Could be play on the oh, bottom. Oh, yeah, I missed. I was not looking at the P. I wonder if it's about the Glockenspiel. <laughs> wow. Glockenspiel. Um, around. Yeah. Okay. So then... So... This that's probably is either ends in y. O or Y. Yeah, I feel like it's it's play. It's play again. Uh, play the. Oh, and then this word has got to be Glockenspiel at the beginning of the next line. This one. Yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, 
Oh, love to... I love it when a puzzle comes together. Yeah. Okay. Um... Them. This has to end like O W below, below. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Thank you. This has I feel like we should be able to figure out. N. Yeah. Then. Yeah. And then play. This hidden. Is hidden. List. Yeah. Hell yeah. Listed, not losted. Ah, uh, booth. Oh, oh, to open the something booth. Play the glockenspiel. Is this clues? No. Um, Could be notes? Could be cues. Could be notes. Notes, yeah. notes are hidden notes. around the castle. Castle. Find them, them and, then and then play them in them the order of the list. In the order of the list. The hidden locations yeah the security, security booth, booth are listed Hell below yeah. locations and find all of the hidden notes okay let's do um oh it's it's 827 so maybe okay. we should please though please we've had so little success today i know but i also it's so nice to have no! No... <laughs> Show. Yeah, but Keep okay, together, we're gonna but... get into the security booth and then we'll have that whole space to explore next time. Please let me Let's play the go. Notes. Please let me play. We're the not notes. we're not even there yet. We still have to go find a bunch of other I know. notes. Okay, Let's can find, we find the notes and then you can play the glockage bill next time. Mm. Wait. I wanna go outside first because I need the bell one. Yes. <laughs> Ruby says, yeah, we got a fucking dirndl. We're on top of the world. Okay, that's true. Where's the castle gate bell? Uh, is it through there? Can I go outside? Did I not realize that I could go outside? I Shit! didn't think we tried to go okay, outside. I swear that I tried to. Oh, jeez. That's for next time. That's I for know. next time. It's just, that's such a Oh my god, that's so mood. exciting. There's a letter G on the doorbell. Ah, there, there it is. Go. Another one of the notes I Can made. you open the list really fast? Okay, so we have portrait is G, right? Yes. Florist. Hallway bookstand is B. Castle gate bell is G. Glass furnace Glass is furnace A. Glass furnace is A. Okay, we got a little fucking so, tune here. G blank B G A. Yeah. I don't know what the Where's florist... the florist? Is there a florist shop here? Because there were some, like, shop names on some of these doors. Oh, we should... C. Um, I bet we'll have to translate them. Hidden notes. D. Yeah, I was gonna say, I remember seeing one out there. Okay, okay sick. We've, we've got the notes. Just like that. Okay, you can play the glockenspiel because that didn't take very long, but then we should be done, okay? Okay. And this is a special treat for you because okay. you've been very good today. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. G. G. Are you asking me? Yes. D. B. 
G A. Uh, incorrect, I guess. Damn it. Francis says Joey can have little a glockenspiel as a treat. Will you look at your um I'm wondering music if homework? we're wrong with the portrait if I'm misremembering that one. That is possible because I did not remember it. You said it was G. Yeah. I know I'm playing the notes correctly. It is here. It says, ooh, oh, music yeah. puzzle. Yeah, I feel like there's one in every... There's frequently one in a Nancy game, you know? Wait. Yeah. It's No, it's on it's, that other side. It's here. This must be one of the musical notes I made. G. What is G? G, D, B, G, A. Right? Carl. Yeah, I was just looking. Are we supposed to find what all of the notes? He's talking about are. Oh. Because there's notes at each place. Right? What? No. The... It means me I just opened that from my inventory. Oh, I see. But I am wondering if we need to find them now that we know we're supposed to find them. Like, Nancy needs... Uh, Emily says, yes, Caitlin, I think you do. That must be another of the musical notes I need. Which means we have to go to the furnace one more time. Which means you'll be glockenspieling next time. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. I'll survive, I guess. <laughs> Wait, I Wait so are we Are we supposed to... Emily says, oh shoot, I think I have some bad news. Yes, Caitlin, I think you do. Is it just that we have to go there, or is that there's actually, like, not just a musical note, but a note note no. at each place? No, there okay. are not notes. We have not gotten notes anywhere. Like so That was just in your inventory? Yes. Okay. I was confused I was because looking, it looked like you clicked on no, the portrait. I was and looking it. for my musical homework because I was curious if it was recording somewhere the notes that Nancy had found, like if they were being written down. Oh, I see, I see. And I was trying to figure out what piece of paper was what. That engraving must be one of the letters that Lucas's dad was talking about. Wait, can we take... Oh, that's the fake snake. Yeah. We cannot take it. Okay, you can blo you can glock and spiel again. Yeah? Yeah, I'm feeling generous. Oh my god, my battery is Why did you... <laughs> oh my god, Joey. What? Get it together for the glock and spiel. I'm trying, man. I'm just lost. Oh, I understand. I want to lick that fucking arsenic wallpaper. Yeah. Here we go. Okay. G. D. B. G. A. Oh my god. Oh, sick! Oh, okay. okay. Save it, save it. I, yeah, I, right here. I'm on. Perfect. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> Ash says, I love the image of Nancy frantically running around so she can play the blockage <laughs> field before curfew. It is not an in game curfew, it is my curfew to Joey. Who gets extremely uh, I hate to stop playing a video game. I know. But I'm fucking psyched that we have so much good yes, stuff to start with Yes, we actually have something time. to do next time. And we puzzled today. Multiple puzzles. Yeah, we did that nice I really liked... tile puzzle. And the yeah, I re puzzle. I really like that letter column puzzle. That was yeah. extremely neat. 
Awesome. Thank you for coming tonight, everyone. I am Joey. You can find me on Twitter. Oh at my Joey God. Defense. You can find us on Twitter at Root Detective. That is, is Joining an me. imposter. The real this Joey. Time, you can find me time. on Twitter at Joey the Prince, and you can find Caitlin on Twitter at Chello and Behold. Who can say? Ooh. Oh my God. Are we doing a call? Um, maybe a short one, but Emma and I do have to eat that cake. That's very important. That brownie. Okay. We don't have to. I mean, I I love you all, but. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's let's do a short one, and we'll actually do a short one tonight. Okay. Oh, J- hold on. Nat says, say something only the real Joey would say. Uh-huh. Ruby says, or Ada says, BRB changing my Twitter name to Joey. <laughs> okay, what would only Joey say? Come on. That's you have to say that. Oh, um, I, um... I mean, I guess if I'm claiming to be a real Joey, I could say that. Look. Don't shoot me. Shoot the other one. I <laughs> love to have correct trivia. Uh-huh. Howda is pronounced howda. I... Howda is pronounced howda. <laughs> Did you know that? <laughs> you can't <laughs> say it the same way. Oh. <laughs> uh. All right. Uh, for so long, for well, Alvita Zane. Uh huh. Bye, everyone. Goodbye.